All right, Jenna's back. She's joining us. An inspiring story of a mom who's risen above an unimaginable loss. Hey, Jenna. Oh, my gosh, she's amazing. She's a mother of five, a widow, and now the leader of two of the most renowned hotel properties in the country. Mary Celeste Bell has learned to turn her pain into hope while living her husband's dream without him. As the sun rises in the Tennessee Smoky Mountains, the staff at Blackberry Mountain are already hard at work and the visitors just starting to stir. At the helm of it all, Mary Celeste Bell in a role she never dreamed would be hers. You say that Blackberry Mountain healed you in many ways. How so? Sam and I had dreamed about Blackberry Mountain for years, bringing his vision to life and making sure that we were doing everything that we wanted to do and that he dreamed of has been just an incredible journey. You met Sam in high school. Do you remember your first impressions of him? He, of course, was great looking. <laughs> <laughs> he was warm and friendly and fun and he had kind of a magnetism to him. That magnetism naturally drew people to Sam, his colleagues, his guests, and his children. At 26, Sam Bell began running Blackberry Farm, a property owned by his parents. Once he turned that resort into a world-renowned culinary destination, he set his eyes to the mountains. He loved getting out and exploring. He loved to hike. I mean, Blackberry Mountain, he hiked and biked every inch of it. He loved blazing a trail. He was kind of fearless. When Sam died in a tragic ski accident in 2016, he left his wife with five children, 5,200 acres of uncharted land, and a dream. There was just immediate talking of like, how are we gonna do this? And so I found myself over those days, over and over just saying, I know we're gonna be okay. The Bell family decided Mary Celeste should be the one to bring Sam's dream to fruition. And she did just that. But that also must have been slightly daunting. I mean, you have five children. You were very young. You were in your 30s. Were you scared? I wasn't scared. It was really so healing to have to get up and get dressed and show up somewhere. Yes. And I wasn't always on time. <laughs> Still, I'm not very good at that. But have adult conversations and not be dwelling on yeah. what we're losing. But the other thing that was so amazing is that it was such a connection to Sam. Seven years later, Mary Celeste oversees 1,200 employees and is involved in the day-to-day -day business at both Blackberry Farm and Blackberry Mountain, all while raising her children who range in age from 10 years old to 25 years old. What would they say about their dad? They would say that he loved them, that he was committed and passionate about things he loved, but I think they would say that they miss him and they wish he was here. But they know how special it was to have him for the time they did. And they appreciate that. Yeah. With Blackberry Mountain thriving, Mary Celeste has a new goal, to change the conversation around grief. Loss is universal and there's no universal conversation about it. You say that there is hope after healing. There is some beautiful light that comes. Well, I think that difficult times give you perspective and there is hope and you just have to appreciate every day. A guest actually gave you a really important book that I know has been sort of a safe haven for you. And then you gave one to me when I lost my grandparents who you knew I loved. The book is called Healing After Loss by Martha Hickman. Even if I could, I will not forget my pain. I will honor it. It is part of who I am. Do you feel that way about your pain too? I feel so fortunate to have lived the life that I've lived. And loving someone so much that you miss them so much is a gift. But I also think that at some point you have to let go and so I am letting go of my pain. I want to celebrate what I had, and I also want to live on. Isn't she? Wow. She's um, remarkable. She's remarkable. That's Crazy. incredible, and the lessons learned. Yeah, she says, you know, there isn't a conversation. Like, we're scared to cry. Yeah. We're scared to yeah. grieve. Mm -hmm. And she would always tell her kids, 
cry. Yeah. That means you loved him. Yes. And um, that means you miss him. Yes. And that's okay. And I think she really will be focused in the next couple of years on working on the, a national conversation around grief. Well, we were just talking about yeah. moms and what they yeah. show, not tell. Yes. Imagine the life lessons that she yes. shown yes. to her and five you know what? kids. She stood up at his funeral mm -hmm. and said she may want to talk. She didn't know, but she stood up and she was just called to speak and gave a eulogy. And her father-in-law, when they walked out, said, Mary Celeste, I think you need to run these properties. And she said it's the job that she never w wanted, yeah. but she's just doing it beautifully. Wow. She built it all on her own in his Incredible. honor. Wow. You're going to sell beautiful. a few copies of that book today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could use beautiful. that book after yes. my yes. parents died. Yes. Yes. When you're grieving, you need something yes. to turn to, like daily medi yes. meditations or something. Yeah. I was, uh, she just gave that to me with a beautiful note and said it's okay to. Is it amazing? Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'll pass it on to you. Thank you. Oh, Jenna, thank you. That's beautiful. Great, great beautiful great piece. piece. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.